Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And today in Everett, Washington was the first leg of the We Love You 3000 tour, the thank you tour set up and established by the Russo Bros in order to say thank you for turning Avengers Endgame into the highest grossing film of all time. If you haven't heard of this tour, I don't blame you. There hasn't been much fanfare for it outside of Twitter, but they've got a full website. Actually, we can see here that the Marvel Endgame or Avengers Endgame We Love You 3000 tour uh, is a celebration of the home release of a Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. Marvel Studios and directors Anthony and Joe Russo have teamed up to launch the We Love You 3000 tour as a way to say thank you to fans who have invested so deeply into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, making it the single most successful franchise in film history. Special guests from Marvel Studios and the MCU will visit nine U.S. cities beginning in San Diego Comic-Con International and ending in Anaheim at D23, greeting and treating the fans at each tour stop. With the exception of today, actually, there was no celebrities uh, appearing in Seattle at the Funko Pop home office, well, Everett, which is about an hour north of Seattle, and at least in light traffic. And uh, yeah, so um, I, I, I went there. In fact, actually, let's take a look at how they explain the July 30th experience. The July 30th Seattle, Washington Funko fan experience uh, arrives at Funko HQ's the headquarters in Everett, Washington, which uh, says here, festivities, Avengers assemble. Fans are invited to come out and celebrate the digital release of Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame with free tacos while supplies last, a cosplay event, a chance to win a variety of Avengers prizes from KISS FM, including digital copies of the film. 3,000 fans will also receive a limited edition poster, and the first 300 to arrive will receive a pop, Funko Pop, and keychain. I went to go check this out today with my friend Daniel, a.k.a. Mr. Repsion, because he and I saw Infinity War together and we saw Endgame together. We're huge Marvel fans. Plus, he had never actually been to the Funko HQ, so I wanted to take him with me and he, you know, he gladly tagged along. We got there today at about noon. It was about an hour before the festivities began and the crowd wasn't very big, maybe 300, 400 people, possibly, maybe a little bit more. It really wasn't that big. There were, in fact, two lines once we got there. The first line was for the uh, the, the posters and the Funko Pop keychain. There was a few hundred people in line for that, some of which had been apparently out uh, since midnight last night. In fact, there was, a, there was an almost altercation that we saw take place where one dude was really getting ready to fight a, another couple in line to the point of where that dude had to call security on the first dude. And I'm sitting there going like, all right, Toontown fight 2.0, let's do this. And then of course, this is this is Washington. So everyone just kind of like smoked a peace pipe and chilled the hell out. But no, that, that line was for them to get the poster, to get the to get the Funko Pop uh, keychain. And uh, then um, the other line was to get into the store. In fact, they were limiting people going into the store in just small groups. So Daniel and I went inside and checked it out. And I was thinking there was going to be a pretty decent sized display inside. Turns out, no. They actually had nothing inside Funko HQ to commemorate the release of Avengers Endgame. In fact, even going back to the Marvel booth, the Marvel section of it, because keep in mind, like half of this store is practically licensed by Disney, so much so that even the soundtracks that they played were from Disney songs. So I go to the back, I'm looking around, I find a couple cool little things like some Chrome editions uh, of different characters, a couple different Avengers Endgame pops, but really not a lot. Outside of the kick-ass Stan Lee, behind the newsstand, uh, selling comics back there, which is pretty cool. And it just, it just yeah, it was one of those things where um, you expected it to be more, and it wasn't. So we then went outside at 1 p.m. in order to, uh, uh, to, to check out the festivities. And I actually talked with a Funko employee on my way out and I asked her, oh, so what's the deal? What's going on with this? Is there anything big? And she goes, no, it's it, they just rented it from us. They just took over the street out front. We aren't really doing anything um, where we're just kind of, you know, here. Uh, it's true. None of the festivities took place inside Funko HQ, which makes a lot of sense. You don't need a few hundred people walking around. People could be breaking things, stealing things. I completely understand that. But still, on the outside, it was all run by KISS FM, the local radio station. And they were having a little giveaway, right? So you, it says on that description, oh, you can win digital copies of the movie. You can win all these other things. Uh, we wait in line to go and sign up for that. And it was actually a line to win Jonas Brother tickets. 
Yeah. Jonas Brother tickets. That that uh, that that wasn't really okay. You know, and then they had a cool looking poster that they gave out, uh, but neither Repsion or I really felt the need to wait around for it. It was just kind of underwhelming. In fact, it was pretty damn underwhelming. You know, this is the first leg, essentially, of the We Love You 3000 tour. They said July 20th at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, I was there when that happened. But like, again, it was one of those things where they didn't really do uh, a lot that I'd heard of with it. Like no one really checked it out, even though, according to this, it was on the IMDb boat, which was behind the convention center. And it wasn't really heavily publicized. The future events, August 8th in San Francisco and August 13th in Chicago, the Russo Bros are supposed to be there. So why the hell weren't they at this event? They're going to be at literally all the other events, pretty much. Uh, and they chose to not come to the first real event in Seattle. It's not like they couldn't have flown into SeaTac, gone through Seattle, gone to, oh, well, no, that actually would have been um, insane because that's actually the route that I took to get up there. I had to pass through SeaTac, I had to pass through Seattle, and I had to get my ass up there. Well, I chose to, just to be on the fair side. But this was really a massively underwhelming uh, experience. Um, it was pretty, uh, it, it was, it was pretty lame to be fair. I, I, I was expecting a lot more considering this is meant to be, you know, the big, we love you 3000 tour. And you, you get a, a poster that was okay. You got a pin. Funko wasn't doing anything. Uh, and, and, and the employees were just like, that's another day at the office. None of us really care. And that kind of was pretty much just the idea going out there, even on Twitter, there wasn't much fanfare. In fact, Funko put out this tweet this morning, but there wasn't many other tweets that came along really talking about the experience. Nobody was really pushing it on social media. They were anticipating at least 3000 people showing up and it was no more than a couple hundred. I probably could have waited in line and gotten my hands on maybe one of those Funko Pops and keychains. But from what I saw from some other people, they were getting their choice of a free character from the movie it wasn't like a special we love you 3000 funko it was literally just like oh captain america or thor or captain marvel or any of those other characters that were in the film you got one of those and then you got a keychain and that was really about it uh the experience was not necessarily worth the drive i i put on a couple hundred miles on my car uh, driving up there today and honestly the best part of the afternoon was hanging out with repsion who i haven't seen in a while and getting to catch up and spend time with a friend so that was a lot of fun um, and he got to experience it for the first time and he had a blast inside the store buying things for his collection. So I'm glad I got to share that experience with him as well. So, I mean, in that particular regard, it definitely wasn't a waste. I had a fun time, but if you are looking to go to the, we love you 3000 tour and in your city, the Russo bros aren't going to be there. Or if you are just not super into all this stuff, don't even bother to go. Um, it, it, it feels extremely slapdash. It feels like it's put together using radio stations and their promotions team. And if you've ever been to any of those events, you know how kind of lame they are. Even the taco stand giving away free tacos was giving away street tacos. And they were like one at a time. You, you get one street taco. That's the free food. Like. Yeah. Kind of sad, to be fair. Still love the movie. Still going to get the movie. But this was so slapdash that it was just, it was the words that, that Repsion used was underwhelming. And he's not wrong. But anyway, I leave it to you, your thoughts, your opinions. If you've gone and seen this after uh, other Funko or after We Love You 3000 tour stops, let me know if, it, if it's gotten any better. I am curious to know your thoughts. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, please uh, hit a like on this video if you, if you enjoyed it. I would say let's try to get to 3000 likes, but let's try for 300 and uh, have yourself a great day, uh, guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.